Tonight is March the 7th, 2013. And what I've got set up tonight to test is I think all of you out there in YouTube land that use 7199s are going to find this interesting. This is a, an old Dynco ST70, runs a pair of 7199s, EL34 is 5AR4. Uh, this is a new board, uh, all new components. I don't know, well, I'll say new, I built it for pretty together four or five years ago. Performance very nice. Anyway, what I've got in it right now is a pair of uh, nice Jan 7199s out of this box right here. Uh, yeah, $1.55 each. Wish I could still get them for that. And then what I'm going to compare them to is um, the 6GH8, which is supposedly a replacement. I bought these uh, adapter sockets and, uh, and the tubes off of eBay, and they came in today. And I'm also going to compare it to a 6U8. The 6GH8 and the 6U8 pinout are the same, but they're not, the, but the 7199 has a different pinout. And I have looked in the uh, RCA receiving tube manual, and if you look at the inner electrode capacitances and whatever, they all are pretty darn close. And it seems like they might uh, perform um, pretty equal for audio. We're going to find out. Anyway, first I'm going to do the 7199s, and then I'll do the 6GH8s, and then we'll do the 6U8s. I'm going to do the 7199s because that's what this is designed for, and we'll have two traces. Let me go ahead and get it started. Start. It'll come up and it'll say uh, reference level OK. My reference level is 14.03 volts. Hope you can see all that. That's about 24 watts. Say OK. So what I'm going to do is let it run. Nope. 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 I don't want to do this over again. I'm sorry. I got. I got to start this over again. THD. I want to run it um, 20 to 20 thousand and um, 10. This is about the fourth time I've started this fumbling. That's what we want to run it at right there. Reference level, okay, 1403, start. Now, sorry about the, the fumbling there. I'm going to let it run, and then, uh, so you can see it starting up here. It's at 40 hertz already. There's its voltage across 8 ohms. It's, the voltage is also displayed right here. And its frequency and it's THD at that point. Anyway, I'm going to let it run both traces and then we'll examine them. Then I will swap the two uh, 7199s out for the 6GH8 and we'll run it again and compare it and uh, see how they compare. Okay, I just started trace two. This is the left channel, the yellow one. The blue one is the right channel. There's some kind of an anomaly in, in this program or the way I've got it set up where I, I don't know why these lines shoot way down and way up. I'll show you what that is. If you uh, follow this stuff down. See, they go down and they cross each other. I have no idea why. Pretty weird. Anyway, we're not interested in, in, in that goofiness right there. There's just something about the way I have it set up or whatever the problem is. That's not important. What's important is this right here. I'll set it up so zero. Yeah, it doesn't like to scroll while it's running. Anyway, there's left trace, there's right trace. Back in a minute. Okay, the 7199s have completed running. Here is here is zero. There's half percent, one percent, from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. They're kind of off the scale a little bit. Let's see, it crosses um, 20 kilohertz crosses up here at about four and a half or five percent, I think. Let's see, 20 hertz. Let's go down there. It, it starts out at about two and a half to 2.7 percent, and the 20 kilohertz. Ends up actually fairly high. It's up there, four and a half percent, four to four and a half percent. If you can see that over here, 
THD, but most of it is down here. Actually, a, a nice performing amplifier. Okay, that's the 7199. Now let's plug in the six GH8s and compare them. Okay, starting trace three, which is uh, the six GH8. The yellow one is the left channel, the blue one's the right channel, the 7199s. I'll let this run. Oh, you can see it starting out there, that uh, little pink trace right over here. Actually, it looks like it's doing better, amazingly, huh? We'll examine it closely in a minute. This is pretty darn interesting. Look at there. Look at this pink trace. It started out over here at below 1.5%. Actually, it did better than this 7199, that channel. Did as good as the right channel. That's the left channel, right channel. Now we're doing the left channel again. Look at that. It's actually a little, a little bit better than all of them. It's as good or better than all of them. That is interesting. Okay, let's change channels again. And start the fourth trace. Now it'll start. Come back when it's finished. Okay, you can see the green line coming across there. That's the other 6GH8. Looks like it's doing. Let's see, let's examine it. Started out. They kind of run together over there. All about the same point though. Not doing quite as well, but it's still doing pretty darn good, isn't it? like it's going to end up about the same there it, it's actually right on top of the yellow line now there it is again yeah it's there it, it kind of split off from the yellow line it's right beneath it there it is so for all practical purposes yeah it, they uh, the six the six gh8 does indeed do extremely well that's good news let's see where they all cross if we can see any big differences up here yeah actually the yellow crosses up there at uh, almost five percent see there's 4.994 there's four and a half five percent so yellow's way up there there's a green let's see our, our original colors were um, yellow and blue and then we put the pink and the green in there. So yellow and blue. Yellow's way up there. Blues almost to four percent. The pink and the pink is down here below three and a half, and the green is back up there with the four and a half. So it's really the same. For all practical purposes, it, it is the same. So from uh, from this experiment, the uh, six GH8 and the six uh, and the seventy one ninety nine that performed the same. Now let's try the six U8s. Okay now I have the six U8s plugged in there. It's actually putting out a good bit less 9.74 squared. It's not putting out a lot of power. It looks like the distortion is uh, is very very different. So it doesn't look like a six U8 is going to be a good match. But let's let it run both channels. I was going to, uh, I can go ahead and after this one uh, run the 7199's on channel on the trace three and four and we'll compare it. Yeah, that would not do it too good, is it? It dropped down to just below one percent there at, at 100 hertz, but now it's back up at one and a half. Let's see how the other channel, let's let this one finish and then we'll do the other channel. Okay, well that would not work too good, but maybe I got a bad tube in there too. Actually, it looks like I do. Because look at how the other the other tube is performing. It's performing quite well. Matter of fact, it's performing better than than any of them. Because look at its THC right there. Well, that tube apparently is. I'm gonna have to change that six U8. Let's go ahead and let this finish and examine it, and I'll get another six U8. Okay, it's finished. This the good six U8 actually does just as well. Put another. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna change this guy out right here. Run it again. Okay. Swapped it out. Now the pink trace is the 
is the new 6U8. Doing a lot better than that one, huh? The way I, uh, I'll show you what I do. But when I, I label my tubes, I label this one high THD. Don't exactly want to always throw them away. You never know, they might work okay in some other application. I hate to throw away old vintage tubes that didn't work at all, but I like to know what they are. Well, that one's not doing too great, is it? But it's sure doing a lot better than the other one. I do have another one that I'm going to swap in. Swapped in. That's the green trace coming down here. Doing a little better. Another 6U8. They're kind of all over the place, aren't they? This one's not too bad. This one, uh... Well, in a pinch, I guess you could use them. I'm not sure how a, a lot of uh, varying degrees of, uh, of goodness here with the, uh, with the 6U8s. Well, anyway, that's what it is. So uh, from this little experiment, it does appear that the uh, good 6GH8s perform every bit as good. I won't say are better, but they do seem to perform as every bit as well as the uh, 7199s. And the 6U8s could, I suppose, if I, I've got quite a number of them. I guess I, if I experimented long enough, I might actually find uh, a pair of them that would that would perform pretty well. That's not horrible. I mean, this is a half percent, so it's not it's not terrible. They all start at about two two and a half percent. Actually, this one six U eight was better than uh, was really quite good. Probably as good as the seventy one ninety nines. I have to look back at, at both of them and, and, and compare them. But anyway, that's the experiment of uh, comparing the 7199s with the 6GH8s and, and these new adapters. Now, you cannot plug a 6GH8 or a 6U8 into the socket where a 7199 uh, is wired for without the adapter. But it's not going to work. And uh, I'm running all this at 120 volts input so hope that's uh worth something to the 7199 community